Orlando and, and his team and staff credit. Um, um, you know, he, he does a great job, and, and, uh, and they played really well, and, and they were coming off of a good win earlier in the week, so you got to give him a lot of credit. And, um, you know, he does a great, great job, and they're going to be really good. And they got some guys obviously sitting out injuries, so um, got to give him credit. Um, you know, we just, you know, what really hurt us was uh, our, our defensive rebounding. We didn't, we, we prepared for it for the last two days. A great week of practice, and we just have had trouble handling prosperity. We played really well Wednesday, and we just come out and we don't play as well today. And um, <clears throat> you know, we we didn't we didn't they had 15 points off of our turnovers, 15 points off of second chance points, and. That bites us in the butt, and uh, um, you know I didn't think we got did a good job on a perimeter rebounding, and um, so you got to give South Florida credit on on their victory. Coach, free throw one to seven in the first half is that an aberration for you guys? We we lost games this year on missed free throws, and we've we came in the game I think shooting around 74, 75 percent. So. Um, um, that was not a good sign for us, and we, did, we missed a lot of free throws. We had some chances we could stretch it, and we just missed a lot of free throws. That that, that hurt us as well too. And we're we've been a very good free throw shooting team for the most part this year. Seems like the turnovers beat you guys too today. Fifteen points off of they had fifteen points off of our turnovers. I mean, we, we had sixteen sixteen assists, twelve turnovers, but again, our turnovers were costly in some key areas, and it, it allowed them to have I call jail breaks where they just fly and go and we're not able to get back in transition defense to set our defense up so um, and they took advantage of that. You watched them on tape. Does Perry appear to open things up for them? Perry, Perry, there's that stretch there that Perry it was the difference where we could have maybe stretched and, and, and could have turned the game and he made some big shots, some tough shots, some hard shots and you got to give him credit on that. The USF has obviously struggled most of this season but kind of consider them a dangerous team. Right I just think this league is it's you know it's just anybody's game. Uh, it's like us. I don't know. You know, when, if, if if we play, if we're the team that shows up on Wednesday when we played Central Florida, we can win the conference tournament. If we play, if we're the team that plays today, we're we'll be home early. So, um, I just think it's just a wide open league, and anybody can win any 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 um, game. And I think anyone one through ten in the conference tournament can win the tournament. Coach, 11 a.m. start. It looked like both teams were really sluggish the first six or seven minutes. Did you feel the same way? Uh, you know, I thought. We, we, we practiced Thursday, practiced Friday. We had good energy. I thought we had a good warm-up. Uh, I'm not out here doing the warm-ups, but my assistants told me we had a good warm-up. And, you know, again, I, I didn't feel our energy was bad. I didn't feel we were just, we just weren't good. I mean, it wasn't, it, I didn't feel like we were lethargic with energy. I just felt we just missed a lot of shots. We missed free throws. We just, just didn't play well. And that's who we've been this year. We've kind of been Jekyll and Hyde. And, and you know, Wednesday, Wednesday we're great. Today we're not. We just have had trouble handling prosperity. Same thing, we're at 41-37 and not able to handle it. And um, that's just been kind of our MO this whole year. What's up with the defense in the second half? Was it the effort? Yeah, no, I just, we, you know, Perry hit some tough shots. McMurray hit some tough shots. And, um, um, you know, we just didn't get it done. And more than the defense thing, it was the defensive rebounding. They got second chances. The, the, the big segment was Perry. I thought Murillo had a really good game for them as well too, but but Perry had that segment where he had some tough shots, um, and then and then um, and they got some big second chance uh, uh, points when we had stopped them, but we didn't stick our nose in there from the weak side guard rebounding on the crackbacks to to get those boards. With Perry, the thing that stands out to you is when you're up two or four or whatever, and he, he was keeping them in it. He just kept hitting, and they were, and they were tough shots. I mean, hit 15, 16 footers. Does it feel like the more you try to fix it, the more it just you know, Jason. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm obviously I'm frustrated, but I but but you know, you got to keep. You're trying everything you can. I mean, every trick in the book. I mean, we just um, um, obviously you know Shaq didn't play well, and that makes it really hard for us. And uh, um, so um, uh, you know, so you're trying you're 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 trying every trick in the book, and you think you you, you turn the corner off to Wednesday's game. We had great practices Thursday and Friday, and. You know, Thursday I usually do a walkthrough after a tough game like that after the minutes. So we went practice practice with straight defense Friday, straight defense, and had a good film session last night. I mean, again, there's just what, what's been the frustrating thing for me is I can I can sometimes see things coming, but we've really had good practices and we've had good energy and guys have come to work and um, I, so I, I don't know. It's just as a coach one time told me, you can never ever tell based on a shoot around or a 
or a practice on how your team is going to play, and that's probably how it's been for us this year. And I, of course, I prefer to have good practices, but we've had a stretch where we're just been, we've been good in practice, and guys have been spirited, especially with all what's going on with some of the noise, and and they come to work every day. It's just we're just not getting it done during the games. Bottom line, just not getting it done during when it counts. Avery said that we had no idea how hard the season's been. How do you keep those guys up? Well, we got to keep them upbeat. I mean. I, I, again, I mean, nobody likes losing, um, uh, but um, um, nobody likes losing, and obviously I take it harder than anybody, and we're just going to have to find a way to keep them upbeat and find a way to try to get some wins as, before conference <coughs> tournament and try to get some momentum and hopefully, uh, um, you know, make a run in the conference tournament. Did one and seven, I think, on the road, not counting the neutral game, is, that, is there something on the road that's that we've, we've been a pretty good road team during my time uh, Jason you know so um, I, I don't know uh, like I said the I, I, I just I just don't I just don't know um, um, I just don't know because it's you know our preparation we prepare the same way um, home and away we, we, we have film sessions uh, practices shoot arounds I mean there's just <coughs> You know, just sometimes when you're dealing with 18 to 23 year olds, anything can happen. You just basketball is a fine line. It's a very fine line. It's a make miss type of game, and and um, it's just a fine line from from things. You know, maybe we make some free throws early, it's a different outcome, but it's just a fine line. Did you said last week you didn't think the basketball gods are with you? Do you believe in the basketball gods? And where I, I believe in breaks, and I don't believe this year we've gotten any breaks. The ball has not bounced our way, and again, I'm not making excuses or anything. There's not because I'm not as you know me, Jason. I'm not an excuse guy, but. The ball has not bounced our way. Uh, we haven't got the call going our way. We just, it just has not gone our way. Some things, guys who, who are shooting the ball poorly against us, are getting coming in against us, and then, you know, 25% three-point shooters are hitting four or five against us. 40% free throw shooters are hitting six and seven against us. It just has not gone our way this year, and um, and it's been, you know, it's been that's been the most frustrating thing. Now, I believe also part of it, you've earned your right to. To you know, get some of the breaks to go your way. We just haven't got the breaks, and um, and then it kind of compounds on that that you just, you know, I mean, there were some times in the first half there where Murillo shot kind of hit every part of the rim. There was twice it had that on key key times, and it hit every part of the rim, and it goes in where I just felt like ours were hitting the rim and, and missing the other way. So it's just been that type of year. But however, I say I say all that, we still got four regular season games left, and I do believe in this team with the conference tournament. Uh, I do believe we're good enough to, to win the conference tournament if the right Memphis team shows up. Okay, thanks everybody.